just in time for Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to show you now the hundred thousand dollar stove. We're so pleased to have join us today Xavier Dupuy. He is president of La Cornu and we have Anne Pericelli. She is the North American director for the company. Thank you so much for coming in. The hundred thousand dollar stove though, folks have to wonder what it, what's it got that, that, that my stove doesn't have at home. So some of you are speechless. <laughs> Anne, you go ahead. Well, uh, actually, so it's completely handmade. So there's two ovens. There's a gas oven and an electric oven. So perfect for you have your gas oven for your meats and your poultry as you're roasting. We're showing folks right now as you're speaking. And then you have uh, your electric oven, which is perfect for your baking. So it's an even, stable heat. And then your cooktop is actually designed by the homeowner. Um, the number of burners you want, whether you want a French top, if you'd like an indoor grill. Um, so it's really a custom design product. It's a couture stove, if you will, that uh, embodies the best of every cooking technology. And we were talking about a little, this a little bit earlier, but folks don't sort of really realize the moisture issue that comes into play sometimes with, let's just take the Thanksgiving turkey. When you have a handmade oven, like you all do, that does the convection itself without a fan mm -hmm. component, tell us a little bit about how that changes the flavor of, of, of the bird. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's, the moisture. Very, it's very important to understand that it costs a lot. It's just, just to cost a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, coming from a patent done by my grandfather, so it's a very long uh, old story in the uh, early uh, 1908. And uh, we try from the very beginning to, to get the best result after cooking as soon as you have the best chicken before uh, you put inside the oven. And it's the shape of the oven that is the patent. Describe that shape. Exactly. The shape is, is, a, is a key issue and also is, is a gas burner mm -hmm. so with a, with a gas you, you bring some damp inside the oven and you have a natural convection and the, the, the main goal is not to lose any weight what you are cooking so you get the taste and you get the moisture after a long uh, cooking. So the shape is giving you the natural convection and that's I guess keeping more moisture content so you don't have to baste as often. Now in terms of the, the, these stoves who cooks with these that we might know? I know Julia Child used mm -hmm. to. Any other celebrities that have these? Maybe somebody else cooks on their stuff for them. <laughs> we have a long list of celebrities uh, that do own them. Some of them own multiple uh, in different homes. Um, it's really, we see two types of customers. We see customers who put the culinary aspect first, and so it really is the best in the category, and so um, this is the only stove they can have. And a lot of these are really saving up for years in order to afford this. And then we have the secondary type of customer that this is the best that there is, and right. it is a bragging point. It is the sports car, or the wristwatch, or the a Brad Pitt or a George Clooney. His they're, they're both owners. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they have to have the best. Yes, um, you know Brad Pitt. Actually, he's he's big into architecture and design. And years ago, he had an antique pot that he really wanted to match the color. And so we we took that sample and um, came up with a unique color exclusive to his stove. And um, it's a great story. I mean, if if the 26 enamel and metal finishes aren't enough, <laughs> we can do a custom color. We've we've matched Ferraris, we've matched antique tiles, we've matched a woman's eyes. Um, we can really have some fun with it, but it is a piece that is meant to last for generations and um, be passed down as heirlooms, and, and uh, a lot of times in France that is the case. And Xavier, um, in terms of the price range, now certainly not every stove is $100,000. That's in your Chateau line. What is the sort of starting price point in the Chateau line? On the, on the U.S. market, we start at 30000 and uh, 100000 makes a, a full project uh, which uh, some additional cabinets, you know, to make uh, an island in the middle of the kitchen. So to have a big statement from La Cornu in your home. That's sort of the whole, out, the whole outfit. You all are going to be introducing a new line, you said, though, that will be somewhere between sort of uh, your, your lower price point and, and your higher $100,000 price yeah, point. Yeah, because as you, you get, you know, we are very proud about our oven. And we would like to, to be able to present the, the same oven, the same vaulted oven, at a little bit more affordable price for next year. Interesting. And sales, how are sales holding up in North America? You know, we're very fortunate in this economy that we're doing very well. Uh, we've seen uh, customers shying away from just plugging in the Chateau stove in, in the kitchen, and we're seeing a lot of really expansive projects that are incorporating cabinetry and hoods, and we do a wall-mounted rotisserie. So when people are ready to spend and there is a lot of built-up, de pent-up demand, um, they're going big, and they're really doing a full lock or new kitchen, and, you know, 100000 that may that yeah. may be on the low side on right. some of these projects. Amazing. Well, thank you both so much for sharing that with us. For $100,000, I would like to have a chef, too, <laughs> come with it. We can do that. All right. Appreciate you both being here. Thank you.